In this brand new video, you will now discover iterations in Python, using for and while loops, so you can improve the execution flow of your program. Please, do not forget to smash that like button, for the YouTube algorithm, since it does really help supporting us, and providing new free content, once a week. Are you interested to be part of this community? All the links are in the description below. Now, let's play this video. But, in most cases, you would like to execute a group of statements, for a fixed number of times, right? Fortunately, Python provides a very simple way to repeat an action, for a specific number of times, the built-in function range, which generates a sequence of numbers, from 0 up to but not including a specified number. A range function has three parameters, which are, starting, ending and a step parameters. You can define each one of them as range, start, stop, step size. This function does not store all the values in memory, it would be inefficient. So, it remembers the start, stop, and step parameters, and generates the next number, on the go. Let's take a look at how range function can be used, with for loop. For i in range, 7, print, i. In the above example, the sequence starts from 0 and ends at 6 because the ending parameter is 7, and is not included. The default step is 1, if not provided. Therefore, the for execution jumps one step, for each new iteration, and will result in printing out all the numbers from 0 through 6 included. As you may have noticed, the range function starts from 0, by default. But, you can start the range at another number, by specifying the start parameter. For instance, for i in range, 2, 7, print, i. This will result in printing out numbers from 2 through 6, included. You can even generate a range of negative numbers, as well. For i in range, minus 5, 0, print, i. This example will result in printing out numbers from minus 5 through minus 1, included, since the ending parameter is never included, remember. Finally but not least, the range increments by 1 its default behavior. But, you can specify a different increment, by specifying a, step size parameter. Here is an example, for i in range, 2, 7, 2, print, i. The sequence starts from 2 and ends at 6, because the ending parameter is 7 and the step is 2. Therefore, the for execution jumps 2 steps, after each iteration. And it will result in printing out the numbers 2, 4 and 6. Wow, that is a lot to take in, right? Fortunately for you, this is the last part of this tutorial. You have seen how to iterate through strings, lists or any other iterable objects. If you liked this video, please, do not forget to give a thumb up, and subscribe our channel. Digital Academy, learn free. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like. Comment. And share.